You might have seen the Postal Service's holiday commercials talking about taking care to deliver your packages. Priority U is the clever cut line, but an Albuquerque man says his mail carrier refuses to deliver some of his mail. When News 13's Matt Grubbs went looking for answers on special assignment, the Postal Service delivered excuse after excuse. Why is this guy having such a hard time getting his mail? At the offices of Richard Cravens, attorney at law, Richard Cravens is an attorney at wit's end. Because I don't know what to do. What do I do? I can't get any results from the post office. He opened his office in a building he owns a year ago, Cravens says, and on day one, the mail carrier walked inside and tossed packages at his receptionist and daughter. They slid off the desk and hit her. Nothing huge, Craven says, but enough to get him up and out the door. I, I went out after him and said, hey, did we get off on the wrong foot? What's going on? Despite assurances that everything was fine, it wasn't. And now, Craven says his complaints often mean he misses a day of delivery as a sort of punishment, he thinks. And certified and registered mail that needs a signature goes undelivered by the carrier. Like this day, Craven says, when his mailman filled out a sorry we missed you form without bothering to even try to deliver the letter, as shown on this surveillance video. It forced Cravens to go down to the post office and sign for it. And because his job is to fight foreclosures, he gets court documents that must be sent via U.S. mail. You're not just an attorney, you're a foreclosure attorney, and you've got deadlines. Sometimes I have... Uh offers for my clients who are in foreclosure that have deadlines as short as five days. Cravens has complained seven times to the Postal Service and now to the Inspector General. Getting his mail, he says, should not be this hard. Walk through this door. Come right here. Turn this handle. Hey, let me get you to sign this up. In fact, as we were talking, a supervisor from the nearby post office branch showed up. I wasn't sure exactly where to go, but I found it. It was easy. To deliver a letter, okay. Craven's regular mail carrier would not. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Cravens. It was a pleasure. All right. Thank you me. have a good day. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. She had to come do that because my letter carrier will not. That's the supervisor who I've talked to. She didn't comment. A Postal Service spokeswoman actually laughed when we asked why she wouldn't talk about what is clearly an issue. She said Cravens will still get his mail somehow, but of course he's had to complain to anyone he could find for a year just to get this far. To make the whole situation just a little more frustrating, Cravens says that this side of the building, which he also owns, is on a completely separate carrier route, and nobody over here has issues getting their mail. It sounds like you're not going. And so we decided to ask the mail carrier himself. So people's homes kind of depend on that stuff. Is there an issue with him that we don't know about? I don't know. Go ask him. Oh, we did ask him. He says you're not okay. delivering the mail. You just saw me deliver the mail. Are you walking inside and giving him the certified mail? He's got a mailbox. I see that he's got a mailbox. I'm busy. I'm here. busy. What are you doing? He was full of excuses. I'm busy. You just saw me deliver his mail. Okay, so when he gets registered mail and certified mail, you're not walking inside. We were there last week. Did, and his I don't have any. How can I take it in if I don't we have it? We were there last week and his supervisor had to walk in and do your job for you. Why is that? Go talk to the supervisor. No, we're talking to you because you're the one who's Look, supposed to be delivering I'm busy, his dude. mail. I'm busy. I'm delivering mail. You know, Go people's talk to houses supervisor. depend on getting the checks Go that are in some of this. Go talk to the supervisor. He's been doing that. He's getting no results. Cravens even installed an outdoor mailbox to make the carrier's life easier, but of course he can't leave mail there that requires a signature. What comes next? Cravens isn't sure. I can't not do something. I have my responsibilities to my clients, my responsibilities to the court, my responsibilities to my business. He wishes the Postal Service would start being responsible too. On special assignment, Matt Grubbs, KRQE News 13. Cravens is now in touch with Congresswoman Michelle Lujan Grisham's office to see if there's a way to ensure that his important mail is delivered without delays. You can see more of Matt's conversation with that mail carrier. We posted the videos online and on our KRQE app.